Hi, I'm Alex Williams of the New Stack here at DockerCon Europe in Amsterdam today with CloudSoft's Andrew Kennedy. Andrew Kennedy is one of the founders of the Apache Brooklyn project and also of Clocker, the Docker cloud maker. Andrew, great to see you. Why don't we see this demo that you have prepared for us today? Okay, great. Um, what we've got here is Cocker running. Now, Cocker is a Brooklyn application, and it's running on the software cloud at the moment. And what it lets you do, it, it's a way of simplifying deploying complex apps to Docker. So it uses Brooklyn as a, a control plane, and Brooklyn helps us manage, monitor, and deploy applications to the cloud. And Clocker extends that to Docker containers. And one of the nice things about Clocker is that it leverages the blueprints in Brooklyn, so you don't need to define your own Docker files or Docker images. Um, Clocker is going to create those for you automatically. So it abstracts that complexity. Yeah. So um, I'll show you. I'm going to deploy a React application. So this is a blueprint. It's based on the Oasis CAMP standard. So it's an open standard. It's written in YAML. And what we're describing here is a set of services. We have a, a React cluster, um, five nodes. We have a web app cluster, um, which is fronted by Nginx and has three web nodes. In this case, they'd be JBoss servers. So if I copy this and I simply deploy the YAML here and we're sending it to this location, my Docker cloud, which is the, the set of VMs that I've, Cocker is managing in software, each of them running a copy of, of Docker engine. So that's deploying now. And while that's deploying, I'll, I'll show a couple of things about the Docker infrastructure that, that Clocker is managing. So you can see here that a bunch of containers have appeared on one of these Docker hosts. Each Docker host is, is managed by Clocker. Um, we can see various bits of information, the, the CPU utilization, memory usage, and Brooklyn can define policies based on that. Um, one of the defaults um, is an auto-scaling policy that will ensure you always have headroom in your cluster of Docker engines. So anytime you want to scale out, there's always going to be room for you to create more containers. Um, if you start to run out, Clocker is going to provision a new VM deploy Docker engine to that and, and set it up for you. Um, and in fact, one of the other interesting parts of that setup is Weave. So we use Weave as an overlay network. So we can connect multiple hosts together with running Docker, which lets us deploy more complicated applications without worrying about port forwarding and, and issues like that. And as you can see, the, the cluster is starting up. Um, it, it's taking a bit of time, but essentially we're waiting for the components, the packages to download from the Ubuntu repositories for Java to be installed, that kind of thing. So what we can see here is that all of the JBoss servers have finally started up. Um, the web cluster is up and running. So just quickly, um, we can have a look at what we actually have deployed. Um, if I open the, the URL, and it, it, it's a very simple chat room app mm -hmm. that, that it, it doesn't really need a cluster of five servers to be servicing it. But, but you're essentially assembling different pieces together and using those to make this app. Um, yeah, it's it's built together from all these different components. Yeah, and you know it could be doing something much more complicated. Right. 
Um, so one of the management features that is very simple with Brooklyn and Clocker is the ability to scale the elasticity that it, it can add to a cluster. So I'm going to resize the, the React cluster with this effector. Um, I'll add another three um, nodes to the cluster. Simple as clicking invoke there. And if we look at this set of, of React nodes here, we can see there's three extra started. Um, there have been three containers created for them. And while we are waiting for the containers to start up, which really doesn't take very long, um, I, I, I'm going to open the, the React admin page. Um, mm -hmm. So we can see the React admin page for this cluster. And if we look, we can see there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the changes being staged and another node being added uh, as I'm speaking. So that's that's Clocker scaling out the React cluster. That's taken as a matter of seconds, but we've created three whole new React nodes, joined them to the cluster, and now they're accessible through the front-end web application. Mm. And we could do the same to the JBoss cluster as well, and that would be picked up by the Nginx configuration. So that's all part of the integration of Brooklyn and Clocker. So Brooklyn is giving us these capabilities to manage complex apps, and Clocker is letting us do it with Docker containers. Well, that about covers it, doesn't it? All right. Yeah, I think so. And if, if you want to find out more, the Cocker is on GitHub. We're looking for people to contribute. So, yeah, cocker.io, have a look. And, yeah. Well, great. Andrew, thank you very much for taking the time uh, to talk with us about, about Clocker and how it works with Brooklyn. And look forward to uh, following the project. All right. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you.